the temporary departure last week of their crane has not slowed down the iron workers of Structur de Beauce at all. Welding around the edges of the steel structure and roof panelling have kept them busy all week. In such a large building, there's always something that needs to be finally torqued to down. On the east wall, around what will be the entrance, the workers from DAC forming were removing forms. And whilst all of this was going on, the first of three large shipments of wall panels arrived. Each trailer in turn would arrive, be unloaded and depart. Everything undoubtedly benefited from fine spring weather. On Tuesday, there was increasing evidence that the form workers were in the final stages of their contribution to the project. Looking around the building, the results of substantial work by O'Connor Electric are increasingly clear. The iron workers never seem to be short of things to do. All of their work is clearly conducted to a plan. Meanwhile, below, there are minor preparations for future work. To keep the pot boiling, two more loads of wall panels arrive and require unloading. Rain on Wednesday made for less inviting working conditions, but concrete was poured on the conduit on the northwest side, and the iron workers appeared little affected by the rain. Considerable progress has been made on panelling the roof. The purpose is not entirely clear but a great deal of time and effort has been put into preparing these boxes around the column bases. An occasional glance around the margins reveals small but important installations. Thursday dawned bright and clear with environmental busy backfilling the walls. They were kept well supplied with gravel hauled in by trucks from Nash. It will be no surprise to hear that the iron workers 
were busy in a variety of areas on various tasks. The appearance of a truck from action, fence and scaffold was unexpected, but its cargo of stairway components was familiar. It quickly moved down to the south end of the east wall where unloading began. Very little time was lost in sorting and preparing the scaffolding. On the opposite west wall, along Sir John A. Macdonald Boulevard, thermodesign insulation were busy installing flashing to prepare for the installation of wall panels. Friday saw the team for environmental again engaged busily on backfilling. Occasionally, there's dirt to be removed before the gravel can be placed. But it invariably gets there in the end. On the inside of the wall, form workers are engaged in what are probably their final tasks. A look along the east wall shows what a great job Action Fence and Scaffold did on the stairway. But the day's most exciting event was the arrival of glass panels from Old Castle Building Envelope, an internationally respected provider. Unloading the heavy panels was accomplished quickly, easily and efficiently with a truck-mounted HIAB hoist. Its operator, clearly very skilled and experienced, made the whole unloading process look remarkably straightforward. As the truck departed, we went into the weekend with both glass panels and wall panels in place, and it will be interesting to see what next week holds. Be sure and check out next week's update to find out. Thanks for watching.